talk about Marion, basketball comes to mind. Oh, yeah, definitely. They have a very good basketball program. Both the, the girls and the boys' basketball teams are really good. Now, football obviously is big in Marion as well. They went to a state championship not too long ago. But when you say Sherrall Marion, most of the time you think, okay, well, basketball, that would be a pretty good matchup. You wouldn't expect a basketball game to break out during a football game. But that was kind of what happened tonight in Sherrall, right? Score-wise, you're not far off. And especially with the backstory here, Sherrall has had Marion's number for quite some time when they hit the gridiron. And you would think right now, though, these teams, how this season's been shaping up, Marion's been rolling. Oh, Marion's been... And Sherrall has kind of... The, the only stumble they had was Wilson. Yeah. And they had Wilson basically, you know, they were rolling past Wilson until the second half, and then it was a different story. So... I don't know, man. The question could be, could Sherrall be that speed bump for the Swamp Foxes as it has been in the past? I don't know. Maybe they should have put hardwood down on the football field <laughs> Maybe tonight. Maybe they should have. But All right. I don't know, it depends on who, you, who you're rooting for tonight. It went pretty well in one team's favor. And we'll let you know right here, right now. Raw Town, where the Swamp Foxes, they took to get that W on the road. It took them not a whole lot, believe it or not. We picked this one up with the Swamp Foxes. They're up 8-0 and Marion looking to increase that lead with Cusack. He hits Williams there with a quick dump off to get the first down, moving in the right direction for Scott to finish off the drive with the five-yard scamper, and Swap Foxes will take a 16-0 lead. Marion's next drive, Cusack, of course, it's a familiar name. We'll keep saying his name because he's a difference maker. Arm strength to the air, feels a really good ball. finds Scott. Scott goes up and gets it 60-yard. You're not catching him. Well, you could have dove to tackle their cornerback, but why no, not? not going to happen. Business decision was made. 24-0 Swamp Foxes. The Braves, though, would get on the board in the second quarter with Nolan, connecting to Faulkner for the score. Braves still trail, though, needing some miracle to take place here because of this guy. Scott had himself a game, not just on offense, but defense. Wow. Gets that pick off of Nolan for what would be a pick six. That score would really be called back due to a penalty, though. So It's still a good play. I mean... Athleticism. Inevitably, Athleticism. Swamp Foxes would find the end zone again. Two sack to Williams there. Marion would roll 76 to 27 over Sherrall. Yeah, that's not a misprint. No bump in the road there. For the no Swamp bump Foxes. in the road. Not at all. As I said, a basketball game broke out in Sherrall tonight. Gabriel Cusack, five touchdowns tonight. He is rolling. Swamp Foxes are as well. Picking up their fourth win of the season as they head to Lada next week. As for Marion, man, I'm looking forward to this game. That's going to be fun. Marion coming to the beach to take on the Seahawks. I, like I said, I'm looking forward to it. I, I think it's, it's going to be a fun game at the Shaw uh, between the Seahawks and Marion. Both like to air it out. Both like to run the football. Both really run kind of a spread offense. Um, both, both defenses are going to be tested. So uh, we'll find out. Looking forward to it. Should be uh, should be exciting game uh, next week here on the Grand Strand with the Swamp Foxes making an appearance at Doug Shaw Memorial.